We continue our journey around the vineyards of Occitanie, and now we have arrived in Fougere in the Languedoc. Fougere is located between Pezenas and saint chinion in the northern part of the region, about 20 kilometers north of Béziers. The Cévennes Mountains provide a dramatic backdrop and act as a buffer against the strongest of the Tramontane winds, which blow frequently. Rainfall is a little more generous here than in other regions, and drainage is excellent due to the one soil type that dominates here, the schist. This is a grey, slate-like, very crumbly and friable soil, which has little cracks that permeate through the rock, which allow the roots of the vines to dig deep and to find moisture and nutrients, even when the sun can be very fierce. And in the summer, temperatures can get hot, the stones warm up, yet this schist soil has a, an unbelievable capability of keeping a freshness, even when the temperatures can be quite extreme. This region is famous for varieties such as Syrah, Cournache, Mourvedre. You will also find a little bit of Carignan and occasionally some Sanso. It has some of the strictest Appalachian rules in the entire Languedoc. The maximum permitted yields are lower than other regions at 45 hectolitres per hectare, but in reality very few producers actually reach that level. The average across the entire Appalachian is 33 hectolitres per hectare, and that includes one large cooperative which dominates more than 50% of the production. The green ethic is very strong, so as part of the cahier des charges, which is the technical specification for the Appalachian, no chemical pesticides are allowed and cover crops have to be planted between the rows. So this is part and parcel of the collective responsibility that people feel to making this one of the most green and environmentally conscious appellations in the Languedoc. Red wine is the majority here, which accounts for 80% of the production. And the wines can be quite big and powerful. And you have this lovely herbal and spicy edge due to all the woodland and garrigue you find growing all over. Rosé is growing in popularity. It now accounts for 17% of the production in Fougère. It has doubled in the last 10 years. And not to be overlooked, 3% of the production of this appellation is white wine. Made from Gorati such as Grenache Blanc, Roussin, Marsan, Vermentino. And these can be really excellent due to the altitude, the northerly aspect, and of course, the schist soils. So overall, Fougère is one of the most progressive, interesting, environmentally friendly, and exciting wine regions of the Languedoc. There are many independent producers here, and 40% of the appellation is certified organic, one of the highest proportions in the Languedoc. So whether it be white, rosé, or the more often found red, you're gonna find wines that are really exciting, but also incredibly environmentally conscious. Now we come to the tasting, and the wine we're going to try is Les Boncelles from Domaine de Cévennes. This is an organic estate in the northern part of the region, in the village of cossigno joule at altitude of around about 300 meters. It's a blend of Syrah, Carignan, Grenache, and a little bit of Mourvet. And the lady who runs this estate is called Brigitte Chevalier. She's originally from Bordeaux, but fell in love with the region, particularly with the schist soils and the old vines that you find here. And she wanted to make wines from the north in the south. She's all about getting freshness and elegance into her wines. So let's give it a try. I mean, first up, the color looks amazing. It's got a lovely purple, some hints of ruby, really violet. And the nose is very, very seductive. We've got everything from wildflowers, wild thyme, black cherry, blueberry. Mm, yeah, it smells absolutely gorgeous. On the palate, it's a slow burn. You start with this lovely, ripe, black cherry fruit character, and it sort of builds and builds as you get more herb, more spice, a bit of licorice, and all underpinned by this incredible racy acidity and this lovely, almost salty minerality that underpins this wine. And the length, it just goes on and on. So this wine has poise, it has elegance. I mean, we're at 14% alcohol, but with that beautiful acidity, Coming from those north-facing vineyards, you have a really elegant yet delicious wine.